All right. Um, Welcome everyone. We are thrilled to have you this evening. My name is Dan Murphy. I work with marketing and communications here with the Division of Pre-College and Undergraduate Programs. Thank you for joining us this evening. This is our very first webinar um, this year. So we are excited to be here with you this evening to talk about what pre-college here at Brown University is going to look like for 2024. Um, so this evening's agenda, we are going to do a very basic overview of the pre-college program. And then I'm going to introduce our guest, Adrian Marcus, um, who will be going a little bit more into information around the programs that we will have for 2024, um, as well as the student life experience. And then we will conclude with a Q and A. Um, Tonight's session will last about 30 minutes or so and will be recorded. So this will be um, posted to our YouTube page and our website within the next two to three weeks um, in case you wanna come back and watch it um, or share it with anyone that you know who couldn't be here this evening. We do have closed captioning available for those who need it. Um, you can opt into that by clicking on the little button that says CC at the bottom of your screen. We also have translation services available this evening. Um, if you click on the little globe icon at the bottom of your screen, um, you can choose Spanish um, or Mandarin this evening. As we go along today, please submit any question that you have um, when it comes to you using the Q&A feature. We've already gotten a few questions coming in already this evening, um, but as we're going through, any question that comes to mind, feel free to submit it. Um, we are going to try to get to as many questions as we possibly can this evening during the webinar. And then we always like to remind people um, to check out our website, precollege.brown.edu. Everything that we're talking about this evening is going to be available on our website um, and is currently available on our website. Um, that is where the most up-to-date information, frequently asked questions, videos, you name it, it's going to be on our website. So definitely take um, a moment to review that after this webinar. So let's dive in. So Brown Pre-College at a glance. So each year we welcome more than 6,000 high school students from over 70 countries, including across the United States, who choose to spend part of their summer with us. And so that can be here at our, uh, at our campus here in Providence, Rhode Island, at locations around the world, which you will learn about momentarily um, or online. These students explore over 300 courses that are intentionally crafted to emulate the undergraduate open curriculum here at Brown. So the structure of Brown's pre-college programs reflects the freedoms and the responsibilities that are critically important parts of the college experience. So as a result, you will balance the challenge of college level academics with an enriching social activities and educational workshops um, that we offer throughout the summer, whether you choose to study on campus um, or online. Regardless of which program you are interested in, I mean, we have lots of great ones. Um, the first step is your pre-college experience and your pre-college experience is completing our application. So our application is designed to mirror the common app, which is used by many colleges and universities. So the pre-college application process will actually help prepare you for that college application process. And that includes adding transcripts and thinking through and crafting an essay based off of a unique writing prompt. Our summer 2024 application is going to open on Wednesday, January 17th, which is just a little over a month away from today. Um, and the deadline for submitting an application is Friday, May 10th. Um, if you head to our website, precollege.brown.edu, and you click on apply at the top of the page, that is where you're going to apply. Um, if you go there today, you will be able to find your application checklist and see what is required for an application. So that includes essay prompts, grade requirements, transcripts, and whatever else is needed to complete that application. Um, new this year, we also have a video tutorial um, on that page as well on how to complete the application. So it actually provides a walkthrough. So if you really wanna get ahead of the curve and wanna see what it's gonna look like once you can start applying, um, you can watch that video and it'll show you step-by-step step on how to do that process. Um, so that's just a very surface level general overview of our application process and timeline. Um, so to go further in detail about our programs for 2024 and the pre-college experience, 
I'm pleased to welcome tonight's panelist, Adrian Marcus, who is the Dean of Brown's Division of Pre-College and Undergraduate Programs, who will speak with you for the rest of the evening. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Dan. How are you? Good, how are you? Thank I'm you. Good. Um, I'm super excited to be here tonight to share with all of you what makes Brown Pre-College so special and such a great place for young scholars to spend part of their summer. Uh, we're thrilled to be offering our full suite of pre-college programs for summer 2024, including a few new opportunities for study. Last year, we welcomed over 6,300 students uh, here in Providence uh, at locations around the world and online to study, and we're looking forward to having more young scholars participating in our exceptional programs this year. So I'm going to share uh, brief overviews of each of our programs. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of information. So please take the time, as Dan said, to look at our website and find out even more details there. The other thing I would recommend is that we have videos that were made by recent students to pre-college, mostly last year and the year before, uh, including day in the life videos. And they're on our YouTube channel and in our social media pages. And I really encourage you to look at those and view them because they'll give you a little glimpse into what it's like to be a pre-college student, both online and in person. And then uh, as Dan said, after I give this overview, um, we'll have time for some questions before the session ends. So let's dive into what our programs are. Uh, so with Brown Pre-College, you can choose from seven different types of programs, each providing a unique and rigorous experience. They are Summer at Brown, Summer at Brown Online, the Brown Environmental Leadership Lab, Brown Experiential Education, the Leadership Institute, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics program for rising ninth and 10th graders, and the pre-baccalaureate program. Each program has its own age and grade requirements and are offered for different lengths of time, which all of that is available also on our program page on our website. So let's start with Summer at Brown and Summer at Brown Online. These are our largest programs with more than 200 non-credit courses, ranging from science, technology, engineering, and math to the social sciences, humanities, and the arts. Courses will be offered on the Brown campus here in Providence, Rhode Island, and online. You can decide to take courses that are on campus that are one, two, or three weeks in length, and online that are two, three, four, and five, and six weeks in length, learning alongside peers from around the world who are as excited about their learning as you are. Next, we have the Leadership Institute, which is designed for students who are interested in creating social change and making a positive impact in their community. The Institute helps students strengthen their leadership skills while taking a course focused on specific areas of social justice and equity. You can study topics such as racial justice, educational access, and gender equality with students from around the world. In addition, you'll learn and practice a collaborative model of leadership in and out of the class. As you hone your skills in active listening, public speaking, problem solving, conflict resolution, and teamwork. The Leadership Institute will be offered in both a one week, one time, four week online session or a two, a two, two week in-person sessions on campus. So let me say that again, one four week online session and two, two week in person on campus sessions. So regardless of which approach you take to participating in the Leadership Institute, you will be guided through the development of a comprehensive action plan that's of your choosing to address a problem and plan to affect change in your home or school community. Next, we have the STEM for Rising 9th and 10th graders program, which provides students who will be entering 9th and 10th grades in the fall an option to choose one course from a range of unique and engaging offerings in the STEM disciplines. The STEM program is two weeks in length, it's in person and it's on campus here at Brown. Each course in the program will include challenging academic content with laboratory and field experiments and a research project or design challenge that serves as a focus for academic work. 
To complete the STEM experience, you will give a final presentation that showcases your project for your peers, instructors, and family. The pre-baccalaureate program is offered to rising and recently or recently graduated high school seniors who are prepared for the academic rigor of credit-bearing undergraduate courses. Pre-baccalaureate students, we call them pre-bacs, enroll in classes alongside Brown undergraduates in the university's seven week long summer session. Courses available to pre-bacs span the liberal arts, including natural sciences and mathematics, the social sciences, and the humanities and the arts. The pre-bac program is offered exclusively online. So, so far we've covered programs that occur online or take place here on our campus in Providence, Rhode Island. The following groupings of programs I'm about to talk about take place in person, but are primarily offered off campus. First, in our Brown Experiential Education, or B, programs, you'll immerse yourself both intellectually and physically in a subject area while studying on location in Europe. Our B programs are 12 days in length, so we're thrilled to announce that in addition to our regularly scheduled Rome, Italy location, we will be providing locations in Barcelona, Spain and Oxford, England. In Rome, you will have the opportunity to practice conversational Italian as you delve into Roman history and culture. In Barcelona, you will engage with the past and present of the city through its buildings and language by exploring its neighborhoods and learning about specific sites that helped make the city what it is today. And in Oxford, you will immerse yourself in the study of public policy and learn from world-class researchers while discussing international events with noted experts from around the globe. I think you'll find these programs to be rigorous academic experiences with program locations carefully selected to enhance course content this kind of experiential learning links the place you are, where you are studying with the content you are learning. The second suite of location-based programs is our Brown Environmental Leadership Lab, or BELL. BELL combines concepts in environmental studies, ecology, and leadership with a mission of developing socially responsible leaders. At Bell, you'll embark on a journey of learning and reflection while building community with the other student environmentalists in your program. We provide Bell in three locations, Alaska, the Eastern Sierras, and Rhode Island. So let's start close to home. Our Rhode Island program will call Brown University's Providence campus its home base this summer. Students will be housed together as a cohort on campus and embark on day and overnight camping trips throughout Rhode Island while utilizing Brown's campus to explore research. Students who head to our Alaska program will explore Alaskan native history and cultural preservation, as well as Arctic, marine, and terrestrial ecosystems while staying in Anchorage and also at the Peterson Bay Field Station off the coast of Homer. The Eastern Sierras program will take you to Mammoth Lakes, California. Your home base will be the Sierra Nevada Aquatic Research Laboratory. In the classroom and during outdoor labs, you'll work to better understand the causes and impacts of climate change and identify examples of environmental resilience. You'll also develop resources and skills for environmental advocacy and environmental justice literacy while learning about socially responsible leadership. So we think you'll find that the variety of pre-college -co uh, programs at Brown offers exceptional and impactful learning experience to suit a wide range of interests with multiple ways to engage with other intellectually curious and talented high school students on campus, online, or in other parts of the world. Whether you're participating in programs online or on Brown's campus, you'll also have access to a wide variety of activities that enrich your overall experience. By taking advantage of extracurricular activities and events, you'll be able to strengthen your connections to a robust community of peers while developing important personal and social skills, such as interpersonal communication, self-confidence, and time management. 
We're proud that the pre-college programs at Brown mirror the experience you will find at many college campuses, allowing you to explore your interests and connect to your peers in and out of the classroom. On campus, Summer Brown students will have access to a wide variety of activities and events offered each day, and they fall into one of three overarching categories. First, there are the educational and developmental workshops. We offer a series of workshops designed to help you prepare for the college application process, including, but not limited to, how to write the college essay, finding the right college for you, and navigating the financial aid process. We also offer workshops about leadership development, identity exploration, and offer opportunities to engage with student organizations connected to some of these very important topics, as well as other areas of interest. Second, we have a mentor, we have mentor groups. And if you choose to participate in a mentor group, you will build meaningful relationships with a diverse group of peers while discussing various elements of transitioning to college life. The conversations are led by undergraduate students who are well-versed in the various resources available on many college campuses and who have navigated that process recently. So you'll leave with some really concrete takeaways for how to make your transition to college as successful as possible for your unique circumstances. Finally, of course, we like to have fun and we like to provide opportunities for students to do the same. So each day we offer additional opportunities for you to socialize with friends and meet other students with common interests. Examples of past social events on campus include bowling trips, board game tournaments, movie watching, parties on the main green, and recreational activities such as ultimate frisbee and yoga. So while I primarily focused on our Summer of Brown experiences, I want to point out that our B and Bell programs, as well as the STEM 910 program and the Leadership Institute, will also have their own fully immersive student life experiences, including activities, site visits, and community development. All of the planning and coordination of these events will be made with considerations of any and all health protocols in place during the time you're participating in your program. Similar to students on campus and on location, we want all of our students enrolled in online courses to be active members of the Brown community and make friendships with others in the program. Based on feedback from students for our online, uh, who are our online participants in the past, we will have ample opportunities to attend interactive and engaging webinars focused on college readiness, including writing a college essay, SAT and ACT test prep, finding a good college fit, and more. Virtual writing support will also be available to all students. We focus on making these events highly interactive and more engaging than a typical lecture style set webinar. So our webinars include group discussions, live question and answer, and a lot of reflective activities to keep you engaged throughout. These activities are available to all students enrolled in Brown Pre-College, not just online students, but we highly encourage our online students to participate in, in them throughout the summer. So that's a lot of information, but I really appreciate you listening to me share about all of our programs. Uh, and we look forward to engaging with you this summer. And now I guess I'm happy to answer questions. Thank you so much, Adrian. Um, that was a very thorough overview. <laughs> so we're going to transition to over to, um, over to the Q&A portion of tonight. So again, um, reminder, the Q&A chat function is below. We're going to try to answer as many questions as we possibly can. Um, in addition to the questions tonight that we receive, we also received a lot um, when people registered. So we're kind of going through um, all of those. Um, so I'm gonna start off. Um, this is a, these were some uh, common questions from the pre-screening questions, but I'm also seeing them tonight. So I'm gonna take them real quick, Adrian, and then I'll, I'll toss yep. them 
you know. right. um, so the first one is like, what are the application deadlines? So just a reminder, um, the application is going to open on January 17th, and then it closes on May 10th. Um, a lot of questions around program costs. Um, so if you head to our website and you click at the top under costs and aid, you will actually be able to see um, the costs for the various programs um, and different lengths of time that you're on campus or at a program. Um, and then the other common one was just general age grade eligibility for each of the programs um, and where do they find that information. So again, if you head to our website, um, if you click on programs at the top and you go to the programs that you're interested in, um, they will have very clearly outlined towards the top of each page, um, age requirements, grade requirements, um, and any other requirements that might be necessary for that program. Um, so, Adrian, um, we've been getting a lot of questions tonight um, and pre-submitted about scholarships and are scholarships available um, and are there international scholarships as well? Sure. So we um, we have a number of different scholarship opportunities. Um, there are scholarships for students who attend a Providence Public School District School. We have relationships with a number of partner organizations across the uh, United States. Um, also, if a parent is a Brown employee, there are benefits that they can look into to support a student attending. And then we have the Sibley Scholarship, which is a more traditional financial aid uh, approach uh, that you would find in a college where you would, once you're accepted, you can submit uh, an application for, for Sibley Scholarship Aid, and you'll provide some information about your um, ability to support um, the funds needed to uh, attend, and then we provide aid based on need from the families. Unfortunately, we are unable to provide scholarships for international students for this coming summer. Great. Thank you, Adrian. Sure. Um, and on our website, if you click on costs and aid at the top, um, there's a page that provides a lot more information about each of those scholarships that Adrian reviewed. Um, a lot of questions around um, courses, what courses are going to be taught. So Adrian, do you know when students um, will be able to view the 2024 course catalog? Yes, we are hard at work pulling all those courses together right now. And the course catalog will be available January 17th, the same time that the application goes live. Great. Um, <clears throat> I can take this one. So some questions around, can people register for multiple pre-college programs? For example, if they want to do a of one week with Summer at Brown and then do a, a B program for two weeks for those 12 day programs. Um, so in general, yes, you can, as long as they do not overlap. Um, there are a few exceptions. So what we encourage you to do is if you are interested potentially in two different programs or two different courses at different times in the summer, um, reach out to us, um, just email us at precollege.brown.edu and one of our program advisors will be able to give you a more uh, nuanced and uh, more hands-on approach to whether that uh, whether or not that's possible. Um, but in general, yes, as long as they don't overlap. Um, so, um, very common question, Adrian. Um, what are we looking for from an applicant? Yeah, so um, understandable. That's a good question. We're looking for students who are excited about learning, uh, that want to learn something new, are interested in coming to a new environment and to meet new people. Um, sometimes students are taking courses um, where they already have some background in, some are taking them uh, as brand new subject areas, and both are totally fine. Um, we want students who do well academically, so we're looking for students who are getting pretty good grades already. If for some reason a student is applying and they're not getting great grades, we suggest that you 
tell us a little bit about that in your application about what's going on for you that um, is not showing up in your transcript. Um, those are the students uh, across, uh, about all that criteria who really are most successful within the pre-college program. Great. Um, and somewhat associated with that, are recommendations required to apply? There are uh, only recommendations required for the pre-baccalaureate program. Mm -hmm. All other programs, it is um, optional. Uh, we love to read about you from uh, other folks who know you. That said, if you click in the application to say that you are going to uh, submit, have someone submit a recommendation for you until they submit it, mm -hmm. your application remains incomplete. So that's something to keep in mind too, that when you want someone to, um, when you submit in your application, that person will receive an email You'll want to let that person know ahead of time that they should be receiving an email uh, and ask them to do that for you. That's a good that's good practice. Um, and uh, and then have that submitted. And that can be part of your application if you so choose. Great. Um, and I reiter I want to reiterate the point of we won't review your application until we receive that recommendation. So that's just something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. um, Adrian, super popular question. Um, people want to know about living in residence halls. If they come to Brown, like, would they live in a residence hall? How are students grouped in the residence hall? So any information about living on campus? Absolutely. So Brown has a lot of different residence halls, lots of different styles and setups. Um, if a student is um, asking to be a residential student, uh, living on campus in a program that's residential, um, you will be housed in a residence hall. Students are generally grouped by the length of time that they are expected to participate in our programs. So if you're coming for two weeks, you will be housed with other students who are also coming for those two weeks. If you are taking two one-week courses back-to-back, uh, -back, you'll also be housed with students who are coming for two weeks because we want you to be attend and depart with a group of people who are kind of your cohort. Um, students may live in singles, doubles, or triples. Uh, it really depends on the building that you're in um, because they are all, are also different. But if you are housed with others, they will be within one year of your age. Great, thank you. Um, and can students request a roommate? Students cannot request a roommate. And uh, we do get this question a lot. Uh, the main reason for that is because we've been um, running these programs and offering these programs for over 40 years. And what we know, even though people think they're an exception, what we know is that students who are housed with someone they already know have a far more limited experience than students who come and live with people they don't know. So we want students to have the most robust experience they can, and that's why we don't accept um, roommate requests. Great. Um, can you talk a little bit more about what populations of students will be on campus this summer? Sure. So uh, pre-college students take up a lot of space on campus. It's mostly us, uh, uh, which is great because um, one of the wonderful things about having a, a big program is that there'll always be 2,000 to 2,500 pre-college students who are taking classes alongside you. Um, and so if you want to get a sense of what a small liberal arts college would feel like, it's going to give you that sense. Um, there will also be undergraduates uh, from Brown who are living on campus. Um, and there will be Brown undergraduates and graduate students who are studying on campus, whether they're taking summer session courses who are undergraduates or they're doing research in labs or in the library or elsewhere. So there, it's a it's a busy campus throughout throughout the summer. Yeah, yeah. Um, are there activities scheduled on weekends as well? Um, and are they mandatory or are they optional? So for most programs, they are optional. 
For the STEM 910 program, we call those fundatory activities, and we want all students in those in that program to participate. In the other programs over the weekend, yes, we have lots of activities. It's a time when students do not have class. It's an opportunity to socialize a little bit more, get caught up in your studies if you need to. We often have uh, off-campus trips on the weekends to a variety of uh, local areas, uh, get to know Rhode Island better um, and what we have to offer here. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I can take this one. So I'm seeing a variation of questions. Basically, um, is there a separate application process to apply to like Bell, for example, if I want to go to Alaska? I think I saw that one specifically. Um, so something to keep in mind is we, we reviewed all of these wonderful programs that we have. So when you are applying to Brown Pre-College, you're applying to Brown Pre-College as a whole. So it's the umbrella uh, that all of those individual programs then fall under. So if you're interested in Bell or B or Leadership Institute or any of the others, you would apply to Brown Pre-College as a whole. And then once, um, if and when you are admitted, you would then go in and enroll in the course that's associated with that program if it's available. So if you're interested in Bell, Alaska, for example, you and you get accepted to Brown Pre-College, you would then go in and if Bell, Alaska is open, still open and has a, um, enrollments in it, you can go and enroll in that. Um, so that's an important step. We do have people sometimes who forget, like they, they're they like, oh, I'm interested in Bell. I applied, I got in, I'm done. Make sure you <laughs> make sure you follow up and then you just have to enroll in it after that. So um, great questions. Um, and then just for sake of time, um, Adrian, I think this might be our last question. Mm -hmm. uh, are students able to leave campus? That seems to be a very common question coming in. Sure. Uh, yes, students are able to leave campus. Um, so Brown, Brown University's campus is open and it's really integrated into the city of Providence. So students are able to explore Providence and Rhode Island as time permits. If a student will be spending an overnight away from campus uh, or and or they will be traveling outside of the state of Rhode Island, they will be required to have their parent or guardian complete a permission form before they're allowed to do so. Otherwise, we really hope that students will get to know our little state uh, and all of the wonderful things you can do in the summer. Great. Um, so I know we did not get to every question. Um, we have gotten so many questions. Um, so what we're going to do is um, if there are any questions that you are just dying to have answered um, that we did not get to this evening, um, give us a call um, during business hours. So Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, or send us an email at precollege at brown.edu. Um, we have an amazing team of program advisors. Um, they are the encyclopedias of Brown Pre-College. <laughs> they can really walk you through a lot of like very specific questions. They can help you navigate like, I'm interested in these three programs. Which one would be the best fit for me? Um, or I'm choosing between these two courses. What should I, what should I do? Um, and when you call, you will talk to a, an actual human being. Um, I think that's a nice little a little perk. Um, but they respond very quickly. Um, so if you send an email, um, you usually will get a response within 24 to 48 business hours. Um, so, um, so again, um, if you have any other questions, um, definitely reach out to us that way. I also encourage you to follow us on social media, um, especially if you want to see like what is it like from the student perspective. Um, we're on all the usual social media channels, um, but we have lots of video content, um, lots of images um, and uh, statements and all that from students um, from the past two summers, particularly. Um, and so I highly recommend viewing those as well. So. Thank you again um, so much uh, for coming and joining um, us this evening and spending a little time um, to learn a little bit more about Brown Pre-College. We truly appreciate it. Um, and again, if you have questions, follow up. Um, and this, again, was recorded. And so this will be posted um, online for you to review back if you'd like to. So thank you again. <laughs>